We continue a special teacher tribute here on KUAM News Week in Edition, recognizing those who shape our island's future leaders. Here's more from the home of the geckos in Mengilau. George Washington High School English teacher Martha Tenorio has over 150 students this school year. That's over 150 reasons to smile when she comes to work every day. I have so much fun with what I do and I really enjoy every day and every single class and my students give me so many reasons to smile that at the end of the day my cheeks hurt from smiling too much. <laughs> And when she's not flashing her pearly whites, she's joking or breaking out in song and dance to get her students hyped about the lesson. I think it's just me and how I'm, I try to be the most enthusiastic, happy person that, I, you know, we're talking about adverbs today, but it's okay because we're going to have fun with it. And it's just all about your attitude and to, you know, when the kids see that you're enjoying it, that's fun for them. Every once in a while, a student will just burst down in class and say, this is the best day of school ever and I love it. And I'm like, I'm, yes, I'm doing my job. But you'll be surprised to hear, she almost didn't become a teacher. She had her sights set on journalism, social work, or even a career in nursing. Coming from a family of educators and surrounded by friends majoring in education, she figured, why not? Looking back on the last 22 years in the classroom, she says she has no regrets. After I became a teacher, I realized I was in the right place all along. And it's the challenges that I face every day of working with young people and just um, being able to uh, create an environment of fun learning that keeps me coming around all the time. <laughs> but it's not always easy, she admits. The real challenge is being able to reach every single student at their level of comprehension because they're all coming from different backgrounds and different educational backgrounds, different levels of learning. And then to find that happy medium where you can still manage to challenge the ones who are excelling and then still encourage the ones who need that extra help. Planning ahead, when she does retire from the classroom, she won't quit teaching. What I would love to do when I retire is to start a weaving program, a free weaving program, where I get to go around to, if not different schools, at least different communities, and just have like, free weaving lessons, coconut leaves, come on over and let me teach you how to weave a hat or a fan and just to continue to perpetuate our culture through weaving because it is a lost art and um, it's, it's something that belongs to all of us. Mm -hmm. 